Uh, this is a PMS 5003 uh, air quality uh, monitor. This measures uh, particulate matter in the air. And this is hooked up to a mega. Uh, and then to the mega, I also have hooked up this little uh, GPS breakout board that's sold by Adafruit, as well as this little micro SD uh, card reader and writer that's also sold by Adafruit. Uh, you may recall that I uh, tested one of these sensors um, about a year ago at LAX. Well, I've been most interested in figuring out how I can map air quality through a city while uh, driving a car or, or maybe even riding a bike. So along these lines, I built this portable unit with the goal of having a mobile air quality data logger with GPS capabilities. When I originally tried wiring up all this hardware to an Arduino Uno, I quickly discovered I needed two hardware UART serial connections to uh, talk to the air quality sensor and the GPS. In the case of the UNO, I only have one, whereas with the MEGA, there are three uh, extra serial connections available, so it makes it a lot easier if you want to hook up uh, multiple pieces of hardware that talk over UART. As for the other hardware, this little SD card reader uh, runs off the SPI pins uh, on the microcontroller and the LCD is uh, talking to the microcontroller using I squared C. The sketch that's running on this uh, hardware right now is actually cobbled together from several other sketches that I found in Adafruit's libraries, coupled with uh, code from user posts. And what it does basically is uh, take a uh, air quality reading every five seconds and uh, it'll write that data to this little SD card and it will also display it on this LCD screen. Um, and currently I don't have the GPS uh, uh, figured into the, uh, into the programming yet because I actually wanted to get this up to a point where I could take it uh, to an event that's happening today to see if the uh, PMS 5003 uh, sensor uh, responds accordingly. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, the bottom line is, is uh, I will pretty soon have that uh, GPS integrated and logging data to that SD card. And that opens up all kinds of interesting possibilities, like writing a file that I can automatically import into Google Earth uh, as a KMZ and, and having it uh, map my location with air quality data uh, over the course of a day. There's all kinds of interesting things you can do. One last thing I'll mention this has is this little, um, uh, this little SD card reader so that I can take the SD card out of the data logger, plug it in here, and then just add a micro USB cable uh, and fire that off to my uh, laptop and then open the, uh, the data that was written by the data logger uh, using Excel uh, since it's going to be written to a text file. Okay, so I'm currently in a uh, conference room in the building where I work here in Tucson and I uh, got a nice view of the Catalinas right here and I've got this set up and running and you can see that the air quality uh, shows very little uh, PM 10, 2.5, or 1 in this, uh, in this room. All right, so I'm in uh, downtown Tucson, and I'm taking a walk to uh, a local venue uh, known as Tucson Meet Yourself, and there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, uh, food carts out there, uh, grilling burgers and all kinds of international cuisine, so I thought it might be interesting to see what uh, the air quality looks like as I approach the uh, venue. And I can smell that yummy food in the air right now. And, uh, you know, so it does appear that, uh, that that grilling does have an impact on the particulate matter in the air. You can see that the numbers are relatively significant here. So I'll, I'll keep walking and uh, keep tracking this, see how it manifests itself. And that grilled food so smells fantastic. So can't wait to see what... Uh, What's for lunch? Okay, so I'm back in the atrium of my building. I'm uh, only a couple blocks away from that festival, but you can see that 
this area is kind of semi-enclosed and you can see that my PM readings have come way down so this little sensor does a pretty good job of uh, at least qualitatively detecting changes in air quality uh, so I just exited the building just to see what the ambient air looks like and I don't know if you can read that but uh, it's reading PM10 of 3, PM2.5 of 3, and PM1 of 1. So let's see if I can zoom in there. So yeah, it's making sense in terms of increased uh, PM concentrations. So I'm going to start heading in that direction, and then I'll pause periodically to see what air quality looks like on my ride home. later in the afternoon so the shadows are getting a little bit longer but I thought I'd just stop in this nice little corridor right here with these mesquites because it's shady and it's one of my favorite parts of the ride so let's see what we got so there's my sensor right there let's turn it on Interesting. Oh, there we go. So what I've noticed with this is when it's riding in the in my basket in the back, when I initially turn it on, it registers really high. But then if I let it sit for for a few seconds, it comes back low again. So I guess the lesson is you want to. You want to kind of have it equilibrate with whatever environment you're you're monitoring. So just let it sit for 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 maybe 30 seconds or more and see what comes up. So I'm a few miles north of my last point, and this is just to give you an idea of what the river looks like over here. I'm a lot farther away from the highway now. I can still hear the road noise, but uh, it's still really beautiful out here, especially during sunset. The shadows come out, and uh, it's just a nice place to go bike riding. Anyway, here are the results for this part of the journey. Not a lot going on with uh, PM10 2.5 or 1.0. Alright, so I just pulled into my house. 
a lot less traffic. Kids are playing outside, so that might be generating a little bit of dust. But looks pretty good. Not a lot of variability, uh, except for those little spikes uh, when I was standing next to moving traffic. All right, everybody, so I just got home, uh, turned on the swamp cooler, and uh, opened up a couple windows. And that's what the PM readings are on a nice day in October in Tucson.